Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate reposter on Twitter using Socinator. If you want to repost tweets as your own instead of retweeting them, then Socinator can help you. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to the Reposter tab. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to repost a number of tweets within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for reposter activity. The first one is Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted tweets to repost. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the tweet. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's input foodies. Click Add. So software will use this query to search tweets containing this keyword. Next is hashtags. Let's use hashtag dogs for example. Click Add. So this will target tweets containing hashtag dogs. For location tweets, the format is keyword colon city colon country colon distance. Let's say the keyword is games colon city is Tokyo colon country is Japan colon distance is 15 for example. Click add. So this will target tweets with these location specifications. Near my location, you can only use keywords. So let's say dogs for example. Click add. So this will target tweets containing this keyword near your location. For custom tweet lists, we need a specific tweet URL. Let's say this one. Copy link to tweet. Paste it in the query box. Click add. So it will target that specific tweet. For someone's followers tweets, we need a specific Twitter username. Let's say Elon Musk, for example. Click add. So this will target the tweets of Elon Musk's followers. For someone's following tweets, still with Elon Musk, click Add. So it will target the tweets of the users Elon Musk is following instead. For followers of someone's following tweets, Elon Musk again, click Add. So this will target the tweets of the followers of the users Elon Musk is following. For followers of someone's followers tweets, Let's add Elon Musk again. Click Add. So this will target the tweets of the followers of Elon Musk's followers. For liked users' tweets, we need a specific tweet URL. Let's use the one from earlier. Paste it and click Add. So this will target the users' tweets who liked that specific tweet. For commented users' tweets, same tweet URL. Click Add. The tweets of the users who commented on that specific tweet will be targeted. Next is retweeted users' tweets. Let's use the same tweet URL. Click Add. So the tweets of the users who retweeted that specific tweet will be targeted. Next is commented tweets. Same tweet URL from earlier. Click Add. So the commented tweets of that specific tweet will be targeted. So it will target the replies to that specific tweet. For Socinator Publisher Campaign, it depends on the campaigns you have created and published through Socinator. You may view them in the Socio Publisher tab over here. For tweets liked by specific user, we need a specific username here. Let's use Elon Musk again. Click Add. So this will target the tweets liked by Elon Musk. For specific user tweets, let's use Elon Musk again. Click Add, and this will target Elon Musk's tweets. Finally, we have Tweet Scraper Campaign. So you can copy the campaign ID from the campaign section 
of the Tweet Scraper campaign you have created in Socinator. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. For example, you want to delete keywords, just click and it's gone. The next category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should repost tweets. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 22, medium with 50, fast with 75, or super fast with 107. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each tweet is reposted. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause. After reposting the number of tweets you set in number of reposts per job. Number of reposts per job will allow you to specify the number of tweets you want to repost per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of tweets to repost per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max repost per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep reposting even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example. Provide a start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click add. So as you can see, you can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite. Let's call it Twitter reposter. Click save. We can then open it by clicking select favorite time and choosing Twitter reposter. The next configuration category is tweet filter. This allows us to filter the tweets we want to repost on Twitter. So first you can specify how old the tweets are. So let's say less than two days old. Next, you can specify the minimum and maximum number of retweets and favorites of the tweets you want to repost. Then the following will allow you to skip specific tweets. So here we can skip tweets containing specific words. So separate each word by a comma. Let's say you don't want to repost tweets containing politics or government. So you may type in this area and you may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button and choosing the right file that's not contained. For example, click open and it's uploaded successfully. Click save when you're done. You can also skip already retweeted tweets. Next, you can skip tweets with this symbol. So these are mentions or replies on Twitter. You may also skip retweets as well as tweets with links or without links. Finally, you can skip tweets that contain non-English characters. So check this if you want to focus on English tweets only. The next tool is other configurations. This allows you to select the folder path where you want to download the media. For example, this is the default folder path, user, document, Socinator, or Twitter. If you click the select folder button, then you can specify a specific folder path for the media that you will download. You may also specify the number of tweets to be scraped for repost per user. Let's say two to five, for example. Finally, you can manage blacklisted users. So blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want the software to interact with. So in this case, Socinator will not repost the blacklisted users' tweets when this box is checked. So this can be either a private blacklist, which is a blacklist that belongs to a specific Twitter account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start reposting tweets, Let's scroll up and hit the save button, success. After saving, click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating reposter on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop-down button and select Twitter. 
This will take us to the Accounts tab. Let's switch to Poster tab and select Reposter on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Twitter Reposter. For search query, let's target tweets with hashtag dogs. Click Add. For job configuration and average daily activities of 22 should be okay, so let's select slow. For tweet filter, let's skip already retweeted tweets and tweets with a symbol and tweets with links. And focus on English tweets only. For other configurations, this is the folder path that we want. And the maximum number of tweets to be scraped per user should be like 5. And let's skip blacklisted users. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Twitter accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, check the account and click the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Twitter reposter campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign. And the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.